I've just created a Twitter account under the name of Psycounting, the same as my YouTube channel. So if you can find that account, you'll be able to access the file, which contains the slides for this clip, which will enable you to annotate them as I move through behavior, not dependent on learning. Before we actually talk about that, let's first of all define what we mean by learning, which is a relatively permanent change of behavior that occurs as a result of experience. Learning is an ongoing process. If you think about our acquisition and understanding of language, and it can be modified. For instance, we might develop a phobia as a child of, let's say, dogs. And if we're regularly exposed to dogs, like for instance, we have a partner that's got dogs, we can gradually unlearn that fear, that phobia of the dogs. So again, a key point of learning definition is experience, reflexes, maturation, fixed action patterns, None of these types of behaviour require experience. Reflexes are inborn involuntary behavioural responses which occur in the same way when presented with a particular type of stimulus or situation. There are many reflexes present at birth, such as the sucking reflex, and many of these will disappear over time as we adapt and learn from our environment. They are generally protective and aid our survival. For instance, an eye blink say when a puff of dust goes into our eye, which will help protect our cornea. A fixed action pattern is an inborn predisposition to behave in a certain way in response to a specific environmental stimulus or situation that is characteristic of a particular species or group. Key points are that all members of the species will produce the behaviour first time of asking, Generally, this behaviour will not be forgotten, i.e. unlearned. And as we move up the food chain, higher order animals such as humans have few, if any, FAPs. Our behaviour is not instinctive. We have free will. Examples of FAPs, salmon swimming upstream to spawn, spiders swimming, um, spinning webs to catch their prey, etc. So let's distinguish FAPs from reflexes. Well, FAPs are generally a complex series of responses, whereas reflexes tend to be very simple behaviour. FAPs are species specific, whereas there are a large variety of species that exhibit the same reflex. And finally, maturation, which refers to sequential changes that the body is genetically programmed to make at predetermined times e.g. a child will start crawling at about the five to six month mark, it will start standing at about the nine to ten month mark, start walking at about a year, or in the case of my four kids, they all started walking at about 16 months. And a key point with maturation is you can't accelerate the process. So you could try and train a young child, say at about nine months, how to walk by doing various exercises, but un until that child is genetically ready, i.e. they've got the balance, the will, the motor control, etc., they will not be able to walk. It's a genetic process and again, it doesn't require prior experience.